So Antonio, we're here to talk about your new movie, your new documentary, Scomparse, the S in front of Comparse. Tell us about the title and this movie. Yes. Uh, comparse in Italian means uh, an extra, an extra on a movie set is a, com a comparsa. And scomparsa in Italian means uh, disappear, it disappeared. So they really mean two, two uh, opposite things. And the reason for the title is that the film uh, really mm, puts kind of uh, the lens, if you will, on extras that were brought into uh, Linosa, uh, a very small island near Lampedusa, for the film of uh, Emanuele Crialese, Terra Ferma. And when they were talking amongst each other, the people from Africa who were brought from Palermo, uh, a lot of them were of French uh, background, you know, Côte d'Ivoire, or I don't remember, uh, Ghana, Nigeria, and so forth. And a lot of them were, were speaking in French. Uh, and, when they, uh, as a, and when they spoke in Italian, they had a bit of a French inflection and accent. And for some reason, instead of saying, facciamo la comparsa, which would mean we're doing la the, the appearing in a movie, they would say facciamo la scomparsa, which means we will disappear. And because uh, what they were interpreting uh, is really African migrants who cross from uh, the northern shore of, of Africa, Tunisia or Libya, trying to get to Europe, and they, what they aim for is those islands, because they are the closest territory, European territory, Italian territory, uh, to Africa. Um, you know, a lot of them don't make it across. So I thought it was uh, an interesting uh, kind of paradox that they would use, that they would make that kind of mistake, if you will. And when, they, when I heard them say that over and over, it wasn't just a mistake, they all said scomparsa. I thought it was a great title for what I was doing. In fact, uh, both uh, Emanuele Crialese's film Terra Ferma and yours, uh, uh, even in a stronger way, do deal with the tragedy that has hit Italy and all these African countries said that are trying to make it across to a, a new life in the last few years. Um, how strongly you felt that when you were shooting the documentary and how important it is, in fact, uh, it was for you to bring to the audiences what yes, the situation I mean, is. You know, when I went uh, to Linosa uh, while Emanuele Crereze was shooting his film, uh, the idea was, uh, you know, it's something that Emanuele and I decided to do, and I would do it, and it would be, we didn't know, because, you know, he, I didn't want to do just a, a backstage, I mean, I did also the backstage for him, but that was a separate thing that I did, it was, it was, a, it was two separate things. This, the idea of this was to do a film in the shadow of the film, which was, uh, you know, a very kind of vague uh, concept. You know, before you leave, you have, you know, you start researching, thinking, read the script, understand who's doing it. And I was thinking, maybe I would like to do it on here, you know, because Emanuele got very excited when he found the Tin Mit, the, the female protagonist, uh, African migrant. And he was talking to me about her and writing me emails, and I thought, oh, maybe I could do it on her, you know, kind of as a car follow her as a character. I was imagining that it was, she was living in Palermo, and maybe she would come over and follow her, see her reality uh, as a... As a, as a um, uh, integrated or semi-integrated person in Italy, see how she got hired to interpret something that she had done in real life. All these things seemed interesting. And Emanuele warned me, look, you know, it's a good idea, but she may not open up to you. She's uh, very reserved and she may not, you know, she's a beautiful presence uh, in, 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 a, in an image, but she may not talk to you so much. And the truth is that that's what happened. And she was, by the time I got to Rinoza, she was kind of uh, settled there and she was waiting for the few days she had to shoot. Emanuele wanted her to be there all the time. So she, I would have had the time to spend with her, but she was very shy. And I didn't, I really, when I do documentaries, I really, I really don't want to push. I like to just observe and sit with my camera and see what comes to me. I don't like to, to try and, and use the, the medium with the lens and push. And, so I kind of said, okay, that's probably not a good idea. And in the film that I made, she's, uh, she just sings a song, really, and then she appears, you know, in, in, in one night. But she, does, she doesn't have a big uh, role. And that was surprising in relation to what I was doing. But then what happened is when all the African people came uh, to be extras, 
there was, a, you know, because we think of Africa because it looks so, it look, it's a big country, but we, we think of it as a country, but it's not a country, it's a, it's a continent. And it's full of different languages, nationalities, dialects, and they bicker amongst each other, and they are, but they have something in, that unites them, which is to be Africans. And when they came to interpret uh, things that a lot of them, because the truth is like one of the people that, I, that talks in Scomparse says that all the people that he knows have all come to Italy, to Italy illegally. 99% of the people that he knows, which is who is an African person who lives in Palermo, are all kind of came, came illegally paying their ride on these, uh, you know, rickety boats, you know, risking their lives to get across. Very few people get in there legally, you know, without visa. So that became, you know, uh, to me, that became an interesting possibility to put, because I knew that in the film, I had read the script, they, they, they were not called in, it wasn't really their story. They were, they were um, going to be uh, an important part of the story but not uh, not explored in uh, like like you can do with a documentary so i thought that the documentary could be a companion to terra firma in that way the truth is that today uh with even the same i shot this film with the same camera i'm being interviewed i recognize the camera and the truth is you can go uh, by yourself with a camera microphone uh, uh some kind of uh, device that holds your camera and shoot something and if it's a documentary you don't have to pay the cast you just have to get access to them so i had all of that basically i own my own equipment uh i had a, a place uh, because of my friendship with Emanuele, he opened the doors of his, uh, of his set to me and we agreed to make this film together. And so I had, uh, if you will, the material and I had the gear to do it. And then I said, uh, do I have the will? I said, okay, I have the will to do it. So all these things together enabled me to shoot all this footage and then to spend uh, months cutting it uh, and uh, conversing with Emanuele on how he was, he, he was coming and so forth. But then the, the truth is, you, you, and then you'd start doing all the sound work. So it's a lot, a lot, a lot of work. And when you get, when you're finished with it, you think, okay, whew, I'm finished. Now the, the, the hope is you hand it in to some magical person who is going to do everything, you know, do a poster and bring it to festivals, screen it. And it's not that way. You're still alone. You, know, you finished it and people, oh yeah, I'd love to see it. But then you have to organize how do you screen it, where do you screen it. So I enter it to festival and, and you hope to get in. And I must say that, you know, the evening we had uh, yesterday night here in, in Los Angeles uh, that was organized with uh, uh, Italian in uh, film and uh, Instituto Italiano di Cultura of Los Angeles, it's just kind of those magical things where I just was mentioning it to Carlo Siliotto, who lives here, a little bit in here, a little bit in Rome, who got in touch with you, and we were able to just put it together uh, almost informally, but it was a beautiful screening that was filled with people, and it means so much to me. It's so, I think it's so important that, that the work is seen you know, by people who show an interest in it. So uh, there is a technology, the possibility to, to, to set these things up like we've done, you know. Uh, and I'm very just glad that, uh, that an organization such as the one I mentioned exists and that enables filmmakers to come in and say, okay, let's try and do this. Thank you uh, very much, Silvia, and I hope that uh, you can at least take a look at the trailer uh, of Scomparse, it's one minute and a half trailer. And, uh, and I hope that I will be able to, um, you know, to get uh, either uh, t television interested or they will be playing in as many festivals as possible. Maybe the Italian television will be interested in screening it so that the uh, entire film can be seen by, by an audience, the largest possible audience of people interested in, uh, in cinema and in migration. So it's kind of a broad, uh, uh, two interesting uh, elements that are present in the film, I think.